Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Spectre Comics and I'm back. This time, ended up going to a friend's for a scotch sipping and ended up coming home with some comic books. Interested in seeing what I picked up? Stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little intro. Um, so if you figured out by now, we did a little bit of scotch tasting and some comic book trading, swapping, purchasing, all that fun stuff that we do. Um, so this was probably in the works for about a couple months. And uh, I think we started back in November, we started discussing the whole uh, scotch sipping and um, ended up getting together in February. So uh, definitely a few months in the work. Ended up, we all met up at uh, John Ross's house, a good buddy of ours. We call him Big Daddy, Big Daddy John Ross. Uh, so shout out to John for uh, hosting the event. And uh, there was, I believe, seven of us that uh, participated in the scotch sipping. Um, seven, I say six plus one <laughs> because uh, cause Will uh, had some root beer. But um, I'm going to do some shout outs real quick. So uh, we had Sean, Sean DePaul. We had Karate Kevin. We had Old Wolf, Tony. We had myself. Uh, of course, uh, Big Daddy, John Ross was the host. We had Good Comics Memories, a buddy John. And of course, the Poon Tank Slayer, 69, Dave. So... Um, it was uh, really a great gathering, and uh, going back to the scotches, ended up coming about where we were going to get a scotch from each region of Scotland, ideally, and uh, we were bringing it over, and we talk a little bit about it, we uh, sample it, and uh, there was going to be drinking it three different ways, you'll see it in the video, uh, kind of the display that John talks about with the, uh, with the scotches. And um, ended up drinking it one in a whiskey glass, one in a tulip glass, and then one with just a drop of water. So you get three different flavors, like profiles from um, each demonstration. And I'm not actually drinking the scotch right now. This is a, a bottle of uh, Michter's bourbon. Uh, the bottle I brought over, it was from, uh, it was called Octantashan or something like that. Sorry, I'm butchering it, but it was from the Lowlands region of uh, Scotland, uh, where, uh, Glasgow, and uh, we were all bringing over a, a regional scotch. So uh, we had um, a scotch from the Lowlands, the Highlands, Speyside, Islay, I believe it's pronounced Islay or Islay, and uh, Campbelltown. Town. The only one that wasn't represented was the uh, like the, the just the islands itself. But so we had a very good spread of scotches. And get set up. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. I've been drinking my scotch in one of these, so I've never had it in. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you need a look. What, what did they? This is. This I'm, is taking, I'm gonna take a. That's not even a third. It's not okay. a fourth. And then what? You should pour it into here. Pour it in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. He doesn't <laughs> Tony, that's it. Okay. <laughs> like I'm sleeping like on a double right. house. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's right. That's right. How far are you going to drive tonight? <laughs> Somerset. It's not the drive, it's, co it's crossing the bridge. The bridge. Yes. So, uh, sorry if you guys don't drink scotch and I'm boring you. or <laughs> I apologize, but we'll get into the comic books. Uh, so, I, you've seen some of the footage. It was fantastic. We had a great amount of scotches. Some of us even uh, bought out the scotches. If, if you really like the specific scotch, um john said he would trade some some comic books for a bottle of scotch or uh, i know kevin ended up buying one of the bottles i think from uh, sean which was not a big fan of the uh, scotch he said he was more of a, a bourbon guy um but yeah we had a blast uh some great food pairings with it ended up bringing my pool stick over he cleared out his pool table we um I played a couple of games with Will, ended up winning one of the games. He beat me in the other game. So it was a fun time. I hadn't played pool in a while. And um, in between sippings, because there was, I think, six different scotches, we had to take a break because either, you know, 
you get hammered pretty quickly. It, it, it creeps up on you when you're doing three different samples of uh, each scotch, drinking it three different ways. So um, in between, we were down in the basement hanging out, you know, chilling and uh, looking at comic books and just like everybody brought some comic books to um, sell, trade and what so forth. I brought, um, I think I brought a long box, two short boxes and like a small tote of uh, graded books. Yeah, so I'm really plan on this being a comic book event, more just put together and this is a... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's more. He's got a stack going over there. Well, you gave me half of it already. He's got quite the stack. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some cool books here on the wall. Yeah. Look at those FFs. These are the reprints, yeah. Yeah, so this is a reprint of the Batman Universe story. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the tune. Oh, there you go. I mean, if you've got them, just put yeah. them back in the boxes. I just discovered this guy and I'm kind of I'm kind of digging him for stuff like this, you know. Yeah. More other than getting into his, uh, Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Tom uh, Waits. Uh, I like Tom Waits and all this stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what I ended up getting, um, and it was mainly through trading. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about the book. It was only four books, only four books. So, um, you know, we were there for, you know, a few hours and we just had a great time. So um, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. So you saw in the, in the uh, intro video, the, uh, this book right here. Love this cover, never owned this book. This is uh, Fantastic Four, issue number 75. Classic uh, Kirby cover, floating floating heads cover, as we see it. Um, obviously, I love this. This era of Jack Kirby was fantastic. I loved his work on uh, Fantastic Four. And uh, I just love the whole like elements on there. You see all these different different elements on the uh, cover all spread throughout. It's really cool. I love that cover. So um, uh, I got this book. This was on, uh, you'll see it in the video, but this was on uh, John Ross's wall. So he he had the whole basement set up and you'll see it on, uh, you probably already seen it already on Will's channel. Um, he had the whole basement set up with uh, stacks of, of lawn boxes and short boxes and then a wall like with key books and just cool covers. So um, this was one of the, uh, when I was looking at the wall last second, you know, before I headed out, I ended up um, uh, getting this book and I talked to John. I was like, hey, John, what do you want for this book? Uh, he was like, uh, just take it home. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, you don't want any money for it? I was like, oh, no, just take it home. I was like. I was like, all right, well, you know, so I appreciate it. Thanks so much, John. That was really cool. Really nice AOK. -okay. So uh, thanks for that. Um, the rest of the books were via trade. So I'm gonna show you the uh, first book. This is the, the raw copy. I've had this book once before. I believe this was graded, I wanna say at a nine six. And uh, so I ended up getting this book back. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. So this is uh, Marvel Now Point One issue number one, uh, first appearance of Kamala Khan, and this is really nice shape. Um, when I took it home and I looked at it even closer, it's it's in pretty nice shape. It has a couple of uh, uh, spine ticks, but uh, I don't they don't look like they're color breaking. So uh, 
<coughs> I might have to send that off for grading. But um, I ended up getting this book from uh, Will via trade. He um, he was looking at one of my short boxes, and um, I had uh, first uh, Sam, so Sam Alexander, the second Nova, second or third Nova, I forget. But uh, he was looking for that book, uh, and it was a pretty decent shape. And he was like, well, I want that book. And uh, he ended up uh, trading me for this book. And then I also uh, added in the, I think it was the Venom issue number 28. It was graded in a 9.8. So I was like, yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> I'm more than happy to, to do that trade. So, and he was happy because he got that uh, Sam Alexander book. So that was cool. Um, the second book I ended up trading, and this one was with, um, with Sean and Will. I know they were looking after that ASM, uh, 569 book. The, uh, first, uh, was an anti-venom, that really cool, uh, Addy Gronoff cover that shows, um, the face up front. It was a really cool cover. So I had that book rated in a 9.8 and I was like, yeah, you want to trade? <coughs> Excuse me for that. And I was like, yeah. That's fine. And um, Sean ended up pulling out this book. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. I've never had this book before. So uh, yeah, let's do it. If, you, you know, if you're cool with the trade, I'm more than happy to do it because I've never had this book. And this is a great book. This is Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, issue number one. This is uh, graded 9.6, second printing. Really cool book. Uh, classic stories by Frank Miller and artwork by uh, Klaus Jansen. Um, first appearance of Carrie Kelly. And on the back, you got a pretty simple cover, back cover. But obviously we, we see this cover and we're very familiar with the storyline. Uh, it's, it's been homaged many times as well. So uh, I was really, really happy to do that trade as well. So that was the uh, second trade I did during the show. And then the last book, I ended up, had a little bit of that. Oh, that's good. Ah, what is that? Victor's. Very good. Very good. So if you guys enjoy your bourbons, highly recommend Victor's. Very smooth too. Um, the last one, I ended up doing a trade with David, the Poon Tank Slayer. <laughs> it's the first time I met David. Uh, really cool guy. Um, had some cool books with him as well. And he was really interested in my uh, Submariner. I think it's issue... Oh, shoot, I forget now. Issue 32 or 33? I forget. It was the um, first appearance of Lyra. It was one of, the, uh, one of the bigger keys in the Silver Age Submariner comics from title. And... Uh, He's been collecting Submariner comics for quite some time. And his goal, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was to get every issue in that title, which I think is like 50 some, I forget how many issues. It's in the 50s or 60s, I forget. Quite a bit. Uh, was to get every book in that run graded, I think in a 9.4 or 9.6 or higher. So <laughs> I was like, holy crap. That's uh, quite the feat. So um, I had that book with me. It was graded at 9.6. He was very interested in the book. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. You know, let's let's trade, you know. Uh, so he, he whips out this book. I was like, okay, okay, cool. Um, on the low, I've kind of always wanted this book uh, for quite some time. Was never aggressively hunting it by any means. But um, I wanted to get it in the... Wanted to get it eventually, so um, ended up doing the trade, and he was like, "Yeah, I got, I got plenty of copies <laughs> of this uh, of this issue graded. I think he was like, I think I have this book graded <laughs> in almost every grade." So I was like, "I'm, you know, more than happy to do that, do that for the uh, Submariner uh, first lira." So the book in question, boom, Submariner. Issue number one, this is obviously the big premiere issue. <laughs> I loved how they did this back in the 60s. Uh, they did this with um, Iron Man number one, 
Submariner number one and Iron Man and Submariner number one. They did this whole like uh, this little big bubble here, big premiere uh, issue. Love this cover. You see Namor. It's huge. It's like jacked in this uh, cover. Cover done by, uh, who is it? Uh, John Buscema and Saul Bur Brodsky cover. And obviously written by the legendary Roy Thomas. Um, greater than a 7.5, which is a great, great grade for this book, in my opinion. Uh, it says, story continued from Iron Man and Submariner number one. Origin of Submariner retold. So this is awesome because uh, now I have issue one and I also have a Golden Age Submariner comics. So um, very happy to finally get this issue in the uh, collection. Uh, so that was it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I had a great time with all the guys there. You know, even we've been, like I said, trying to work on this uh, get together for quite some time. The last time we went to John's house and did the little comic crawl at his place, it was fantastic. We had a great time again. This time with the scotch pairings and the food and then the, uh, the comic swapping. So I'm hoping to do it again. Maybe, hopefully, maybe later on this year we can, we can get together because we always have a blast. You know, the previous time we went to the brewery right, <laughs> right down the street too. So uh, it's always a blast. Uh, I want to thank again, John, Big Daddy, Big Daddy John Ross for um, hosting the event. And uh, like I said, uh, hopefully we can do it again soon, maybe later on this year. And uh, it was great hanging out with all the guys there as well. We had a blast and uh, hopefully until next time. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's the Comics, out.